Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. Myself Roslyn and in this video we will see how to check if an array contains value or not using Power Automate Loop. And these are the two ways that we are going to learn to check if the array contains value or not. The first approach is using contains function and the second way is using filter array action. So let's begin to check if an array contains value or not using Power Automate Flow. For that, log in to the Microsoft Power Automate using the Microsoft credentials. Click on this create option option and choose the instant cloud flow enter the flow name and choose the trigger as manually trigger a flow and click on this create option now select new step add a initialize variable action and create a array so that here i am going to enter the variable name called power platforms and i am going to choose the variable type as array and in the value section under expression tab use the create array function to create the collection of values here i have passed the power platform values here i have created the array which contains the power apps, power automate, power bi, power virtual agent and power pages values. Now click on this ok button. So my variable has the array values of these things. Now select new step, add a compose data operation. Now pass the input using the contains function. We are going to check the value is presented or not. So the contain function result in a boolean value either it is a true or false here you can see the contains function ha has the collection either it is an array or string and the values to the search so from the dynamic content i am going to pass the array variable which is power platforms and i am going to search the power bi is presented inside or not inside the power platforms or not click on this ok button here you can see this is the contains formula that i have used click save choose test choose manually click test click on the run flow option then here you can see our flow ran successfully and the array variable that we have created has these values in the compose data operation it returns the value true just because in our array i have the value called power bi this is one way to check if the array contains the value or not now we will see the second approach for that i am going to edit this flow and i am going to add new step called filter array action from the action trigger select the filter array data operation here from in the from section we have to pass the array to filter so from the dynamic content i am going to pass my array variable which is called power platforms and in the choose a value action i am going to pass the expression as item so click on ok button and in the expression i am going to choose it contains here i have to pass the value so i am going to pass the value as power click on the save option click test choose test click done here you can see in the filter array action in the output section it returns the value from the array which has the which contains the value called power so this is my output similarly i will test another case i am going to edit here and search for power pages Click save, choose test, click manually and click test, choose run flow, click done and from the array variable it, it returns only the particular value. Here you can see from the array variable it returns only the power pages just because only one value contains with the power pages. And this is another way to check if the array contains value or not using the power automate flow. I hope you like this video and these are the free video tutorials that are presented in our YouTube channel. Please check it out and please do subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos thank you